All right, the next thing I'm going to do now that we have uploaded our gallery is I'm going to come add that gallery to our photos page. Um, and first thing we'll notice is we still have a sidebar on our gallery and we don't want that. So I'm going to come to the settings on the photos page and put that page to full width. So that way we don't have to worry about any sidebar. And I'll hit save. And uh, one other handy thing to notice is that um, notice that there is no header on this. Uh, so let's put some test text here. But now there is no header on this page. Um, but if I upload an image, we will see a header show up. And we're going to come back over here. Say I upload this picture here. We're going to notice that then the header will appear. So I'm just going to upload that to show you guys. I'm going to hit save. And now suddenly, because we put a photo here, we have this huge banner up here. Again, uh, on this page, we actually don't want that banner. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that, because I just would rather focus on the photos, photo gallery as a whole. So we're going to say, just put photos up here. I will say photography. Sounds a little bit more, a little bit more professional. We're going to actually center that, put that right in the middle, and we're going to edit that page content again. Sorry, I keep going back and forth with saving. Uh, it's always good to save a lot because, again, if you lose internet connection or anything goes wrong, that is a uh, not a good thing. So save often. I'm going to add a little block below where it says photography and gallery. So this is ridiculous, but Squarespace updated the user interface between the um, literally yesterday when I recorded the rest of these videos showing you guys how to do this uh, with the gallery block. And now they've kind of actually set these up in their own way. So uh, a little crazy how that worked out. Um, and we're going to try a few of these out. So we're going to try and just see what we like. So we're going to start with the wall, which again, this was like the auto columns. And I'm going to come over here and don't want that metadata on there. Rather be just see these as images. Get rid of that thumbnail. Oh, we need the thumbnail, but these are pictures. I'm not going to put a limit on that just in case we ever upload more. And um, we're going to come over here to Layout. Oh, and look at this. It still is similar, but now they've just actually changed that navigation of how you get there. Um, we're going to change the gutter width, make it a little smaller. And it takes a bit to load. And yeah, we're going to make our columns a little wider, so we have two columns wide. And we're going to save and see how we like this. Um, it's OK. It's kind of cool. Um, don't love how these aren't perfectly lining up. But again, um, another handy little thing, just so you know. Um, so we have this gallery block right here. Um, and this ultimately, this functions and how these auto columns function are going to be largely dependent on the order of the images in them. So you notice how I have four horizontals starting it off? Well, if I pull up one of these vertical images to, say, the top, then it's going to kind of completely change the look of that gallery. So again, I come over here to Gallery, and let's pull this guy up here. So now we have a horizontal and then a vertical, and that should totally change how this entire auto columns looks and lines up. So again, if we come here now, we see that it's a bit more staggered, has really kind of changed how the entire thing looks, so we don't have those awkward mismatches anymore. Um, and, you know, I think this is good for now. I think that uh, this does a good job of showing it. We'll go in here and uh, it looks like we have Lightbox on, which is good. I want it to have Lightbox. And uh, yeah, it appears we have 
uh, set up a simple gallery. But we want to go back to our page, and again, what do we want someone to do on our photos page? Well, we want to display the photos in a clean and professional way. We have done with that. Someone can look at the photos and even lightbox them. And then we want to give them the option to either learn more about Elizabeth or contact her. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and edit that page content. And we're going to have some simple text down here that says, learn more about Elizabeth. Learn more about Elizabeth. So we'll just leave that here. Actually, you know what? We're going to make this a button. Yeah, I think a button would be good. Make this a, come down here, create a button. Learn more about Elizabeth. And we're going to come through, click through URL, go to our content, and we're going to link this to the About page. And we will leave this aligned center. And right now it's green, it's terrible, but we will get to the style editor a bit later. Right now I'm really just kind of still laying out the framework on the site. Uh, and so there we go, we have just created a basic photography page uh, for our website.